Hey, Naomi, how you doing? I'm doing good. You know, just when I think I've heard all the crazy stories about domestic violence, I, I hear new ones, and it, it's even more frightening to know what, what women and men are going through out here. Yeah. What happened with you? I was married before to a gentleman who uh, physically abused me, and about 20 years ago I came out uh, as a lesbian, and um, I just am going through a similar situation now, and it, it happens it's as rampant in the uh, gay community as it is mm -hmm. in the heterosexual community. The, one of the differences is, is that sometimes there are no places for us to go mm -hmm. to talk about it, and there's all this fear and shame around being gay, and then there's all this fear and shame around being beaten in a gay relationship with a same partner. Um, that's, I have a bad combination cause, yeah, that's a yeah. bad combination because they don't want to get involved, first of all, and then they, they have this judgmental attitude because you're gay on top of it. That's right. What I'm doing now is that I, I'm seeking counseling. I Good. am working on why I'm attracting these kind of people into mm -hmm. my life. Mm -hmm. I'm keeping the focus off of them, and I'm going to put the focus on me and Good say, not blaming me, but wondering what, what signals am I sending out? What are the things that I need to work on? or to diminish that part of me that says that I deserve this because I don't. I think for a lot of women, this is just from my experience of doing these shows for the last 10 years, is that women want to feel safe. And sometimes that person that's a little aggressive and a little assertive, initially there's a sense of safety. That person will yeah. protect you. And then the person who, who's a protector turns out to be the abuser. Yeah, Absolutely. Absolutely. And then uses that protection against you. Against you.